Welcome to video 8 on flight sim navigation. So far we've been navigating with an NDB and an ADF in an airplane that had a specific ADF radio and indicator in the cockpit. But what if we are flying with a plane with a glass cockpit like the Garmin 1000? Well, let's have a look how we can tune in to an NDB on that. Here we are in a cockpit with a Garmin 1000 and let's have a look at the little challenge that we set ourselves in this video. We are here uh, at Maastricht airport and we first want to fly towards this NDB that is the 339 and then set course to this NDB which is the 434. Well, what we need to do is tune in that 339 NDB and this is the 1000 uh, zoomed in and what we need to find is the ADF button, it's over here but suppose for whatever reason uh, you are at a s different uh, point in the uh, sequence of the menu then what we need to do first is press the back button as many times as needed to get the ADF button in sight. Press the ADF button that opens up the tuning window and now this rotary knob, the FMS rotary knob is the one that we are going to use. The outer knob uh, which I can control with my mouse wheel or by clicking on it controls the field that we want to edit and the smaller button that controls the value that I can now edit. So this one becomes a zero, then the next field uh, has to be the three. Uh, I can also click instead of using my mouse wheel three, three, uh, did I say nine? Yes, I said nine. Well, we, we will find the Morse code later. When done, then we have to press the enter button to save the value. Now it is saved and we, we press the enter button again to, tra to tra oh, that was twice, to transfer it to the green part and that is the ADF that is tuned. So we can already set the next uh, NDB which was the 434. Uh, that means that we all we need to do when we are flying is to quickly press that enter button. The 4, 3, uh, yeah, uh, a few more clicks, there we are, 4, 3, 4, enter. So that's already done, now we can make a flight. Let's click away this tuning window and let's see how we can get our ADF needle in view over here. For that we need to press the primary flight display button and there is a bearing 1 and a bearing 2 button and we press one of them and then press again and then press again until it says ADF. Yeah, this blue arrow now is the ADF. Well, that's correct because this first uh, NDB was right in front of my nose. Uh, if I would like uh, bearing 2 in view also, uh, we can also put that on ADF, then I have a, a bit thicker needle that is a bit easier to see. Well, let's also get this heading bug over there by pressing the heading button once, uh, then I can use the autopilot uh, for my departure. Uh, let's have a look, a uh, very uh, quick and dirty checklist uh, is my uh, trim wheel on uh, take off, well it is right now, is my flap uh, off, no my flaps are on, they are off now and I think we are all set to go flying a little bit and well let's have a look. Ok, let's add some throttle and see if we can get in the air. Uh, the plane starts to uh, go to the left a bit, that is because of the uh, prop. Uh, but we can keep it straight by uh, using the rudder a little bit and then uh, nice speed to take off and there we are in the air. 
Now we watch the vertical speed needle of the uh, uh, G1000 and I think it's a nice moment to press autopilot now and then it should take us up to 1500 which I programmed here and we already took care that that heading bug was uh, in the right spot so let me press this heading button and now we are on course to that first NDB. That blue needle is right in front of our nose and uh, well it was not on a long distance so soon it will start to uh, deviate and when that happens uh, let's have a look uh, it, it's already starting to uh, to go off a little bit as you can clearly see that means that I'm I'm almost over it let us check on the map just for fun let me zoom in a little bit uh, yeah I'm already over that NDB so I should set course now to that next NDB that next NDB uh, where is my DME button because I have to arm it so uh, or ADF button I mean so I'm now going to arm that with the enter button now my needle is over there uh, over there I mean and that means I now may have to make a roll so I'm going to change my heading the the heading bug on that NDB more or less and that should bring me straight towards that second NDB. Uh, well, that's, uh, that's all quite fun and quite easy. Uh, let's have a look if this really is happening uh, on the map. We can have a look on the map and there we can clearly see that uh, I am now, yeah, here I am and I am on a course straight to that NDB over there. I think we did a pretty good job. Uh, everything looks good over here. We have reached our height, the altitude I mean. Uh, we are on course to this blue or what is the name of that color uh, NDB. Everything okay.